Hello everyone and welcome back to Base Series. Today we talk about One for Cover from the great Marcus Miller. This is a quite hard slap song to tackle and it should the part is often played differently. Now, let's get right into it. The song starts with that part, which can be tricky. You start with a note, bend, which is the 14th fret of the G string. You bend the note, then you pluck it with your right hand. Then you release the bend to the regular note. And then you pull off to the 12th fret. Then you slap the 14th fret. Then you bend again. And then you slide to our riff. Alright. After that, the main part comes in. You slap the open E string, mute it with your left hand thumb. Then you pluck the 6th fret of G string with your index finger and the 7th fret of the G string again with your middle finger. Both of them plucked. There are no dead notes in between, okay? It's not, it's not this, it's just open string, mute it, pluck, pluck. Then you play a dead note on the E string. Then you hammer on from the 5th fret to the 7th fret with your index and pinkies. Then you play open E string two times. Then you dead note the E string. Then you hammer on from the 4th fret to the 5th fret of the A D string. Sometimes Marcus Muller plays one open E string, two dead notes. That hammer on part is alternated between takes also. He sometimes plays hammer on, sometimes plays plug and slap. Alright, from the top. Alright, or. Then you play fifth fret of the A string again and you hammer on to the seventh fret. I'm sorry, you play that note first on the A string, then you hammer on from 5th fret to 7th fret. Then you play the open A again. And then you play triplets. Now the triplet part is quite tricky as well. Most people play double plucks on the D and G strings to play that triplet. But what Marcus Miller does is he plays an that note on the opening string locks the G string and place a dead note on the A string again. Alright, he does this. It's actually easier to do it this way. Alright, we just slap, pop and slap. The tricky part is slapping the E string and then the A string, okay? It's not two slap notes on the E string. Alright. It's this. After that, you pluck the sand fret of G string. Alright, that's the part. Alright. After that, you play a dead note on the A string, and then you pluck the open G string, and then you play an open string slap. hammer on from the 2nd fret of the A string to the 4th fret of A string. Slap. From the top. Then you open plug the G string again. Then you play the 3rd fret of the E string. That pattern, okay? Then you dead note the A string and hammer on from the 5th fret to the 7th fret. Alright, and then the pattern repeats itself.
after you play that a couple of times with some alternations or improvisations, the sliding part comes in, it starts the same. What you play differently is, you play two open E strings and you plug the D note on the G string, the seventh fret of the G string, both of them are plugged. Then you plug the G string again, but this time you slide to the 12th fret. After you slide, you slap the 12th fret. Then you slide to the 11th fret and slap again. Then you slide to the 9th fret and slap again. And then finally you slide to the 7th fret and slap. Alright, that's the pattern. The tricky part can be slapping the G string and getting a sustained tone. You need considerably lower action and new set of strings. And of course a jazz type instrument helps as well. So, after you play that, all the pattern repeats itself and then the chorus comes in. At the chorus the horn section plays the melody which is this. If I play solo I also like to play that on bass as well. So if I teach you this. You plug the 11th fret of the G string and then you hammer on to the 14th fret then you slap the 11th fret again. Alright? Then you play the 12th fret of the D string then you slide to the 9th fret and slap it and slap it and then you slap the 10th fret again. That's the pattern. After you play that part, you play an open E string, choke it with your left hand, and then you plug the 9th fret of the G string, the 7th fret of the G string, and then you play 9th fret of the D string, pull off to the 7th fret and slide to the 5th fret. That pattern. And then you play 5th fret of the A string and hammer on to the 7th fret. After you play that part, if you switch to the 5th fret with your middle finger, it's easy to cross strings. Alright? This way. Also, after you play that melody, to connect that section with that slide hammer on section, you play a couple of times open E strings. Three times to be exact. Then you play a dead note or an open string to start the pattern. Alright, or That's about it. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section below. See you on the next one.